It's nighttime off the coast of Hawaii. Not a time for sleeping. This is called the Hawaiian bobtail squid, Euprimna scalopes. And when the sun sets, it shines. Researchers collect the squid in the shallows at night. When you go into that water at night, it's just teeming with life. Just crawling with such beautiful and amazing life, it's just a privilege to be out there. But for all its beauty, nature is cruel. Animals eat and get eaten. This squid spends its nights hunting and hiding from predators. And it has a fantastic trick. It can hide its own shadow. When moonlight filters through the water, it outlines the squid. In response, the squid lights up. It matches the moonlight, creating a subtle glow that blots out its silhouette. And that's called counter-illumination. It's a brilliant disguise, an advantage that lets the squid hunt unnoticed. Even though they look like cute little squid, and they are cute, they're voracious predators. Oh, yeah. They love shrimp. And it is quite terrifying. The squid will come and, and hover behind the shrimp. The shrimp doesn't even know it's there. And then, bam, and start chomping on it. But the squid can't hide its shadow by itself. The silhouette-erasing glow comes from another creature entirely. Deep inside the squid is a special light organ that houses a single species of bacteria, the light-producing microbe Vibrio fischeri. But the baby squid are born without the bacterium. So they have to recruit it from the seawater. The juvenile flushes bacteria-laden ocean water through its body toward the light organ inside. That water then enters tiny pores on the light organ. And there are lots of obstacles along the way. It's like entering a car wash. The bacterial cells have to swim through this lawn duct. They are battered by cilia, doused with antimicrobial mucus before they get to their final destination. The bacteria live inside of what we call crypts. Here, they produce light for the squid in exchange for room and board. Mysteriously, these obstacles seem to prevent everything but Vibrio fischeri from setting up shop in the light organ. And this is something that we're really trying to understand. That's one of the amazing things about the symbiosis. Finding Vibrio fischeri is like finding a needle in the haystack. How do they recognize each other? How do they communicate with each other? Just like us humans, animals evolved in a bacteria-filled world. The animals had to learn how to communicate with these bacteria a long time ago. These are very ancient conversations. And researchers are listening in, hoping to tease apart the complex partnerships between bacteria and their animal hosts. <laughs> 